Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 2. And in the previous lesson, what we did, we set up our WAMP server, and in our root folder, we actually created a folder called a PHP course, and then we put a shortcut on our desktop which accesses that root folder, and that's where we're going to put all our PHP code. So if I open that up, you can see there's that folder, and we'll be working with our PHP in that folder. Now, there's two important uh, files I want, actually want you to put in that folder today, and that's going to be a Lesson 2 boiler, which gives you some setup code like some stub code and the second one is a PHP info file which we're going to actually use today to test our development server now we are in a development server that's on our local machine and then you eventually go to a production server do not put this uh, info file on that production folder that's a no-no It allows people to see all your PHP information you don't want them to see that okay so let's start with the uh, boilerplate uh, code and it's just basically some HTML code that I have a PHP tag in so basically I have an HTML tag head tag, title tag, and body tag, and your PHP goes in between the body tag. So what is that PHP all about? That PHP tag tells your server to start processing PHP, so that's essential, and that goes between the body tag and then make sure that you close it with a slash HTML. The PHP info file is just basically starts with the PHP tag with this one single method, PHP info, and then with your ending PHP tag. Now you can edit your PHP in anything, so a lot of people get wrapped around the axis. What do I start with? Well, just start with Notepad. Now throughout this series, we'll show you a lot of different programs you can edit with. We'll specifically use Notepad, and we'll use Dreamweaver to start off with. So let's go ahead and just use Notepad to create this PHP file. So I've already typed it in here, so I'm in Notepad already, so let me just get rid of everything else. And there's my PHP file. And all I have to do now, make sure the tags are right, is go ahead and save this. So just go File, Save As, and we'll just throw it onto the desktop and we'll go PHP info and make sure you end with PHP dot PHP and hit save. So once you have that file saved, just drag and drop it right into your PHP course. So I'm going to open up my folder and there's my PHP info. And I can actually run that as well. Now I've also created my boilerplate. Let me open that and show that to you as well. So if I open up boilerplate, that opens up in Dreamweaver and here's my boilerplate. Now you gotta make sure this boilerplate, though it looks like HTML, has to be saved as a PHP file. So make sure you save it as PHP or it won't run. So you may save that as HTML because it's got the HTML tag that sounds logical, right? But if you do that and you try to run it, it won't run. So now that we save both these files into our PHP course, we can now run them. I want to make a very important point before you actually start running your program and that is that you have to have your WAMP map or LAMP server turned on. And right here you see there's a little icon here that allows me to turn on my uh, WAMP server. So if my WAMP server is on, you'll see it down here in the system tray. It'll be white. And let's go ahead and turn it on and show you what happens. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, you can actually start it again if you want to start all services. And you see as it starts, there's actually probably a little process that it goes through. Let's stop the server. There you go. And you see this little red bar right here means it's off. And now let's start the server start all services and it kind of goes to this little yellow process where it starts up and then it turns white and it's up. Now if you click on that icon you're going to see there's lots of wonderful stuff here. Your PHP is here, your uh, PHP my admin, local host, a root directory. So we're going to actually be talking about what all these mean as we proceed into this uh, series. Uh, certainly PHP my admin is the holy grail of building databases and we'll get into that as we move on. Just make sure you have that WAMP server turned on because if you don't it's not going to run. So now let's run my PHP info. So what you do is open up a browser and this will be a good test to see if our development server is working. So open up your browser and you want to type in local host and then you're going to type in a PHP because that's what's on your local host course. Then what did you call and whatever you called the file. So I forget, so I'll open it up, and let's see what I called it. I called it PHP info. So we'll just put PHP info, and don't forget to put the dot PHP. Now, if my server's running, it's going to contact it, and it's going to bring up that folder, and it's going to run the PHP info. Let's return. And there it is. And what's happened here is going to give me all the information about my PHP. And right here, you want to make sure for this particular course that you're running what? Version 5 or more. In this particular course, I'm actually running... PHP 5.3. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, you might specifically be interested in your PHP.ini file. From time to time, you'll need to edit that. 
I know with the number of different programs that I run, I need to go in and edit my INI. So that's how you basically get your uh, development server up and running and you test it to see if it's working. Now, if this did not work, you're doing something wrong. So go back and work with it a while, troubleshoot, and figure it out. And once you get this going, then you know your PHP is running. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. We're ready to proceed to the next lesson.